Few songs capture that 70s southern rock feeling better than Can't You See, the 1973 classic performed by the Marshall Tucker Band. Gonna take a freight train down at the station now. I don't care. Behind the band's enduring hits, however, lay a tragic history worthy of any southern gothic novel. Formed in 1972 in Spartanburg, South Carolina, the Sextet's music was driven by the band's guitarist and songwriter, Toy Caldwell, who was joined by his brother Tommy on bass, rhythm guitarist George McCorkle, drummer Paul Riddle, flautist Jerry Eubanks, and lead singer Doug Gray. The band was formed after Toy Caldwell returned from serving with the Marine Corps in the Vietnam War, where he was wounded. The band named itself after Blind Piano Tuner, who had rented the same rental space as the group's rehearsal space. Can't You See was included on the band's debut album, which was released in 1973. The band's first top 40 hit, however, was Fire on the Mountain, which was penned by George McCorkle, hoping that his friend Charlie Daniels would record it. When Daniels declined the song, the band recorded it for their 1975 album, Searching for a Rainbow. As the 70s progressed, the band found massive success, with two albums selling more than a million copies each. They even played at President Jimmy Carter's inauguration in 1977. That same year, their single, Heard It in a Love Song, hit number 14 on the charts. However, the band's popularity began to wane following bassist Tommy Caldwell's tragic death at the age of 30 from injuries suffered in a Jeep crash. It was the second loss Toy Caldwell suffered within the span of a month. Toy and Tommy's younger brother, Tim, had perished in a traffic accident shortly before Tommy's death. Tragedy again struck when Toy Caldwell, who had left the group for a solo career in 1984, died in his sleep in 1993. He was 45 years old. In June 2007, George McCorkle passed away from cancer that had been diagnosed earlier that same month. During Southern Rock's heyday, the Marshall Tucker Band stood out from their peers due to its flautist and its more country-oriented sounds as opposed to the bluesier music produced by the Allman Brothers, who were credited with starting the movement. While many other bands of their day have fallen apart or retired from the stage, the Marshall Tucker Band managed to overcome its tragic losses and continues to perform to this day, reminding their fans that great music, no matter what the genre, truly does transcend time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to like the video. If you want to receive notifications of new videos, make sure to click the bell next to the subscribe button.